Hello everyone, welcome back to another fishing simulator video. Today we have a brand new update here for you guys, including a brand new secret quest as well as a special code for you all. So we have a ton of people here, so we're just gonna jump straight into the video today because it's gonna be a big video today. Thank you so much for everyone for actually coming and joining me in games day. You guys made my heart swell. It's such an amazing thing to have people here. It's crazy to have you guys follow me in game. I wish I could give you guys the star launch egg for the egg hunt 2020, but I am not unfortunately able to do that. But as I said, in today's video, you will see because of the thumbnail and the title of the video, we are going to be showing you the secret desert pyramid quest because a lot was added today. So let's go over the change log first to start off this video. So the brand new update is here. What's new? We have a brand new desert island, nine new fish, one new badge, major performance improvements, and a few bug fixes as well. As he didn't mention this in the changelog, but he did tell me in DMs, there is a brand new secret rod. I'm not sure if it's mythical or legendary, but we're going to show you the quest on exactly how to get that today. So, I know a few of you are probably wondering, just tell us the card. Okay, I'm getting to it. We're going to do the card first, because I don't want to pull you guys short anymore. I know a lot of people don't like waiting until the end of the game, but let's do the code first and foremost. And that code is going to be Sandy Pyramid with a capital S and a P. And it's going to give us 20 gems for today. So thank you so much, Spinaz, for giving us this code. But as I said, we have a new island to go and check out. So Unfortunately, a lot of these people aren't going to be able to come over to the brand new island with us, but I think it's only fair that we go on the boat because it's 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 a better mode of transport. Let's let's be honest here. I need to unlock it actually. Oopsies. Everyone can be on my boat. There we go. Don't know how many of these people can actually get in to the brand new island, but the island is Farrod's Pharaoh's Dunes, which is the desert island, and it is level 65 plus to get in there, which is unfortunately going to be a big, big achievement for us. Obviously, we're level 90, so we're on our way there. So it's just behind Port Jackson. This is where you spawn the boat in, and it is all the way over here. As you'll see, I wish you could zoom in on the map. It would be really cool. But we have a giant pyramid. We have the dock. We have a town, and there is a secret oasis off to the right as well, because there is going to be a few quests, and oh my goodness. I, I wish that these guys weren't going to get kicked off, but they are all going to get kicked off. We have a level 3, a level 24, a level 30, a level 49, a level 30. Oh my goodness. I I am so sorry guys. You're all about to get kicked off this boat <laughs> Because they actually fixed this. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, man so This is the brand new Pharaoh's dunes So we have obviously a hot mode hot air balloon motor transport as well But this is our dock and there are quite a few new fish But we're gonna go over the quests really quickly because these give you gems So we have a guy here, which is called Ali and he wants a 15 Garaboli fish obviously so we're gonna we're well, okay, I've already done it. <laughs> I went through and I got through these fish and I have some neons as well later, but we're going to talk to this guy, give him that, and we get 50 gems from that, which is absolutely crazy. We have a guy where we can sell our other fish to here. So we have some more that we can obviously sell to him. Uh, we have some neons, so we're not going to sell the neons because we're going to need those <laughs> very, very soon uh, because I want to add them all to my aquarium eventually. I was really surprised I got two neons in a row though, which is absolutely crazy. But then we have this girl over here, Amira. She asks for a starfish and she says that you can actually go to the secret oasis, which is off here to the right of the um, track. It's just up here. You can just zoom out all the way and see it obviously because there's a little track that goes there but we're taking a little shortcut and you can actually find a lot of the fish here as well but as far as the fish go in Farrah's dunes we have the orange spine unicorn fish we have the gurmari gurami i have no idea how to pronounce that we have the bluefin napoleon fish we have the flounder we have the sand ray we have the scorpion fish we have the starfish which is going to be our mythical we have a yellow tanga fish and the garibaldi fish as well but to get the starfish we're actually going to need to get it from this oasis with a secret rod and to do that we're gonna have to go do a quest and I kind of already figured out how to do this quest because it's gonna take you a little bit if you don't know what you are doing or where to go because I had no idea at first I was crazy though so here we have the Pharaoh's desert 
pyramid and it has amazing detail on the inside i really really enjoy this and this guy up here has a star here and obviously carbon we talk to him and he tells us to find an astronomer in a port jackson and we really need his help if we want to get inside of the pyramid because this is currently locked so we're going to go back to port jackson and speak to the astronomer which was just added in as well so it's really really nice to see that they are adding things back on the main islands and adding in a secret like chest method but oh a secret chest let's open this and see what we get Oh, we got 50 gold from that. Not not too bad, but I like these. Like, little details like this. And we also have this guy over here, Linkle. So, my uncle Abraham Link used to be a prankster gangster until someone took his joke too seriously. I've been trying to pull off a prank of my own, but I need some help with that. You look like someone who sails the high seas. Would you be able to help me out? Sure, we'll grab it, and we have to bring him a whale's tooth. Thank you, Mr. Linkle. Link. I'm just going to call him Link. Why not? So why are we... We're not going to take the... We're going to take the hot air balloon. So we have to bring a, a whale tooth to him. But we're going to focus on the pyramid quest today. So we're going to go back to Port Jackson first and foremost to make sure that we find our shana. And honestly, it's... I thought it was really silly because I was like, wait, I wonder if it's Rodney, if he's a secret astronomer or if it was in the tavern because you used to be able to go upstairs. But no, if you want to turn around here, you can see like the little astronomy tower that is with the Finn's supply shop. So you want to come through here and then through over here is a little doorway. We're going to go in first person for this and there's a little staircase to go up and you want to go through the little hatch and up here you will find a little observatory. It's a really cute thing out there. There's nothing in there other than his room, but this is Astro. He is our astronomer and he said I knew that star had something to do with the pyramid. You're right on time. Look at what's happening So then we get to go through this and see there is a star up in the sky That just broke into fragments. Oh my goodness. Hold on. We're gonna have to find fragments I've never seen anything like this before. It looks like these fragments might be the ones you're looking for Oh no, we're gonna have to find fragments. I didn't think we'd have to do this. Oh gosh, K Kira was not prepared for this. Looks like you're coming. You guys are coming on an adventure with me while we do this. I'm not sure if they were just here on the main island or not. Oh hello, Declan. So it doesn't look like any of the fragments were here on the main island, but we're gonna jump in and find exactly all of those locations. So let's just cut back to when we have found them. This was probably the most annoying quest that Fishing Sim has had so far. So I am in voiceover cure mode mainly because this took so long. I think my entire recording was around an hour long and I tried to condense this down from like an hour to eight minutes of footage. I had to go find them specifically off screen, see where they were. I even had my friend Declan helping me and he completed it all before me to let me know exactly how to do it because it took me forever. So we're going to start off at Monsters Borrow and find the first shard because this is the only island that does not actually have a hot air balloon transportation mode. So I thought it would be easier to start with this one and then end off at desert. So up here along past like on top of the cave, there is the first star fragment and I kind of realized like as soon as I backed out of that that there was no point in driving the boat to either island because I was silly and I was not thinking I am very tired and in the middle of this entire recording I spilled my entire cup of tea over my keyboard my desk my mouse everything so it kind of took me a little bit so we're gonna go to eruption island and these are actually pretty easy to find if you completely zoom out but from where i am these are just the easiest places to go so just on top of this little island here this is the second piece and you have to start the quest for these to actually appear these do not appear for you prior and then now in a shadow isles i'm just gonna go into first person mode because it is the easiest way to get up these ladders and stairs whatever you may wish to call these and it's just at the very very top here just sitting there at the very first island i thought that was probably the easiest one jump back down to the hot air balloon guy and head off over to ancient shores um really like hidden off to the side it's tucked away right in the corner across the log and then we only have one more piece to go which is at pharaoh's dunes pharaoh's dunes i'm just gonna call it desert island let's be honest and this one it's just above the oasis near the rocks just there so you just want to zoom out it's a lot easier to find it uh i will say this does get a bit laggy very very soon because i did have 
a stream going on with Declan and he was showing me how to fully complete certain things, so I'm silly. So once you've completed all of your star fragments, you want to go up to where you saw the star platform and then you actually have to place them in the star. I got very confused. I thought I'd have to go back and see the astronomer or talk to Carbon, but no, you just place the star fragments on the star and it will do the cutscene to open up the door and Carbon will go into the chat and be like, I knew that a shaman could help us crack it. Looks like I get the treasure all for myself. I hope he gets lost in the maze because this is one of our first bad guys that we have gotten here on this island so far. I wonder if he'll be in any of future quests, so this is the maze. This is the final run through where I, it took me three tries because Declan was trolling me the entire time. He was like, oh, Kira, didn't you know that you had to talk to someone and get a piece of paper for the door to open? And I honestly believed him. I went back to the start originally. It was crazy, but this is obviously going to be sped out footage. Do not worry. I don't exploit it or anything like that. This is just sped out footage. This took like eight minutes. All of this last pieces of footage. This took eight minutes to do, but this is the maze. Obviously, you can do the rule of thumb with the maze and stick to the left until you get it. Uh, I just kind of went through with my own way. Opened up the door, got through there, and opened up the final golden door. And this is going to be a light refraction type thing. It is very, very dark in here. And I don't understand why mine is so dark. I did actually have to turn down my graphics entirely to get Declan's help with this stream. Because he was streaming this because he worked it out. But this still took me a good, like five seven eight minutes to get this and thank god he has the torch it really 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 helped me obviously um hashtag kira is bad at puzzles in the comment section down below because i am the worst person at these no matter how many times i try this and how many times i tried to turn down my graphics I'm just bad at this, okay? I didn't know where these mirrors exactly were because it was such a dark thing. I will actually probably suggest to Spinaz to completely put this as a brighter because like it's appearing bright for you guys, but it was really dark on my screen. I did mess with a bit of the filter. Like this is still very, very dark. I'm so glad Lucky, Lucky, oh my gosh. I'm so glad Declan had the torch for me, but like some things I couldn't even see. Like I couldn't see the ladder. I couldn't see where to jump in parkour. I had to go into first person a lot just to see where I was going. And it, it was crazy, but we did end up working it out. I don't think this is really worth a hundred gem reward. Uh, I will say I do not think it's worth 100 gems. I think this should have been worth more like 300 to 500 gems. Mainly just because this is such a tedious task. And oh my goodness. This is crazy. I don't like these types of puzzles. I will never like these types of puzzles. But you know, after dealing with the RPL event and all those puzzles, I'm kind of used to them at this point in time. But we are almost at the end. And it did take me a few tries for a few of these because I was silly and I was like, wait, where is this supposed to go? But it's okay. Kira's bad at puzzles. We get that by now. <laughs> and every time that I try. So I'm just like, out of it right now since I spilled the cup of tea I haven't been with it I've just it's one of those days okay it's one of those days and we all have them but it's okay I'm just gonna chill and play games with my friends today because it's all I want to do today but we ended up completing this quest and opening up the chest in the middle and this is going to be the final one that we have to turn in order to complete this quest and thank you so much Declan once again and we opened it and we got our rare star rod so we completed the desert pyramid challenge yes you guys got to hear a bit of voice over kira because that honestly took forever to work out thank you so much Teclan, for helping me i am terrible at puzzles i'm terrible at mazes i'm terrible at everything like that so thank you Teclan, so much for helping me that literally took like half an hour for me to work out and do but thank you so so much so before getting that we got this brand new rod and this rod is going to be the star rod which is honestly only a rare and it allows you to catch special fish in the oasis at night time and obviously we also get a badge slash achievement for doing that so which is the desert pyramid you completed that desert pyramid quest and it gives us 100 gems so we're gonna collect that that means we have 619 now everything here is complete our star is there and we just have to wait for nighttime now to be able to 
catch the amazing mythical starfish for pharaoh dunes hopefully it doesn't take too long i hope it doesn't at least so i'm just gonna jump to that once we have gotten our starfish and yeah let's head to the oasis and wait for nighttime Waiting for this to go into nighttime took absolutely forever. But here is a star rod. There is the oasis. We did climb to the top of the pyramid to see a Coke bottle up there because that's exactly what we did. And everyone in the server is currently playing Simon Says. I did not want to leave the island just in case, sir. It's nighttime. We can finally catch some special fish with our brandy rod. So let's see what we can find. And hopefully, we can get a star starfish hopefully within like a first few tries or the first try i guess oh thank you we got this on the first try oh my goodness we got the mythical starfish and we got a small version of it because we this is a small version oh my goodness hold on we need to see if we can get some more but it looks like we're just gonna get some of the normal fish here at night time too but that's okay because that means we can go a turn in one of four of the quest so let's head back over to the town over here and complete this quest and then complete off this video i'm sorry if it was a bit longer than usual today i did not expect it to go from for this long or for me to be that bad at puzzles but uh hashtag kira's bad at puzzles down in the comment section below because we are terrible at them, so let's talk to Amira. And she goes, wow, so pretty. I knew you would find a way to catch it for me. You look like one heck of a fisher. Here, take these gems as promised. So from that quest, you get 100 quests. Well, 100 quests. Oh, my God. 100 gems from completing the Desert Temple puzzle as well as a hundred for giving one of these small starfish to her that you can catch with your brand new star rod at nighttime here at the desert of do well the Fa desert pharaoh's dunes island here on a fishing simulator this quest has been crazy i'm gonna guess he gives like 20 50 gems to giving him a whale's tooth i did not manage to get one nor can i be bothered right now because they just were not spawning in for me so let's head back to spawn and see everyone and end off this video what did you guys think of this quest did you guys think it was worth the reward do you guys think anything like that but yeah let me know down in the comments below but if you guys like today's video make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys are brand new to the channel also hit the notification bell to be notified every single time i post a video or start a stream i will be streaming it around like two o'clock in the morning for me with defiled over on his channel on adopt me giving out a ton of pets later today so i hope you guys have a lovely day or night wherever you guys may be in the world and i'll see you guys in the next video or stream Bye, guys.